Hello, and welcome back to the What's New on OCI series. We have a couple of big announcements this month, and with Oracle Cloud World right around the corner, it's an exciting time at OCI. So let's dive right in. The biggest buzz lately is the availability of MySQL Heatwave on AWS. That's right, we're talking about AWS this month. MySQL Heatwave is Oracle's solution to running transactions, analytics, and machine learning on the same MySQL database. And now you have the option to take advantage even on AWS. No more ETL and duplication between Aurora and Redshift. This is really a game changer, so be sure to check out more in the link below. Next, let's talk about Cloud Advisor for organizations. Oracle is really building out the organizations feature. Now you can view Cloud Advisor recommendations for all your child tenancies at the parent tenancy level. Think performance improvement opportunities, cost savings options, and improving security. All this can happen at the parent tenancy level, making it easier than ever to manage large OCI environments. Shig, what other news do you have for us this month? Hi. If you're a user of block volumes, I have some exciting news. With the new dynamic performance scaling with auto-tuning for block volumes, you can now ask OCI to automatically adjust the performance in response to changes in your workload demands within the range that you control and specify. This is especially beneficial for workloads that vary whether that's throughout the day or seasonally, as it allows you to maintain application responsiveness but also allows you to only pay for the actual performance that your application demands and that you're using. So this is an exciting enhancement for all users of block volumes that's worth checking out. If you're users of Jupyter Notebooks or deploying models or running uh, analytical jobs, then you'll be happy to hear that OCI Data Science now supports flex shapes. Flex shapes allow you to specify the number of OCPUs as well as the amount of memory according to your workload needs. This capability is available on AMD EPIC and Intel Xeon Ice Lake processors and is definitely worth checking out to optimize the price performance of your analytical workloads. And last but not least, we're very excited to announce the latest member of the OCI regions family, Madrid, Spain. This is the first region in Spain, as well as the 40th region for OCI. This is also the 10th region in EMEA that supports 100% use of renewable energy and continues Oracle's commitment to sustainability in our path to having all of our Oracle Cloud regions run on 100% renewable energy by 2025. And with that, let me hand it off to Julian for additional news. Thank you, Shig. As you are processing an increasing amount of data, structured and unstructured, you often build data lakes in object storage to complement your databases and data warehouses. We are glad to announce the release of our new service, OCI Lake, to secure and control access to your data in object storage and how your data is shared. Access rights can be set by bucket, by object, or by field. So build more secure data lakes in OCI with OCI Lake. Next, Cloud World. After two years of absence due to the COVID-19 pandemics, we propose you to meet again in October to see keynotes, to learn the latest about all Oracle product and solutions, to participate to workshops so that we can help you unlock the power of your data during three days. Let's meet again and see data in action in October from 17 till 20th of October in Las Vegas. See you then. To learn more about the new services and about Cloud World, see the links below in the description. Leave your feedback in the comment section. 
And don't forget to like or subscribe to stay up to date with the latest OCI services. Thank you.